Hello children, how are you all? I hope you are fit and fine. Children, as you all know, we are learning multiplication. And we have completed exercise number 4.5. And we were doing exercise number 4.6. And we have completed children. Question number 1 to 6. Today we are going to start from question number 7. So children, before going to start our exercise, I would like to welcome you all in maths video class. So children, this is your maths video class and today is <clears throat> 5th August 2021. And we are doing chapter number 4, Multiplication. Children, as you all know, we have completed question number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Today we are going to start from question number 7. So children... I am going to write on the board, first of all, question number 7, then we will solve, because this is word problem. Okay, the question is, student of a school went to see the children's park in 12 buses. If each bus carried 40 students, how many went to see the park? So children, I am going to write on the board. Just write it down in your copy and after that we will solve this question. So the question is 7 number, exercise number 4.6, question number 7, students of a school Students of a school went to see went to see the children's park in twelve buses. If each bus carried forty students, how many? went to see the park children here you can see a simple question that is based on word problem of multiplication that is students of a school went to see the children's park in 12 buses here 12 buses are there and 12 buses, full of 12 buses went to the children park. And the capacity of a single bus to carry one, sorry, 40 students. It means one bus can carry 40 student. And here children, 12 buses went to the children park. So question is, how many went to see the park? It means how many students went to see the park? So children, first of all, we know that only 
each bus it means each bus has capacity of seats or it can carry 40 student so here children how can we know the answer the product so let's start solving this first of all solution we will write okay children solution will be we will write so what we will write first students students went to see children's park okay in in 12 buses how many buses were used 12 buses now next line we will write so each bus each bus can carry or can carry 40 students it means here 12 buses bhar ke bacche gaye children park here you can see each bus can carry the capacity of the bus to carry children that is only 40 so here we will write total children went to the park equal to we are going to multiply 40 by 12 okay now here I will do the multiplication first 40 by 12 we will do first two zeros are zero children two fours are eight one zeros are zero and one fours are four now children we will write over here zero eight plus zero we will get eight and 4 will be there now the answer is 480 children now here we will see 480 it means 480 students students went to children park it means 480 student went to see the children park in 12 buses okay so here what we have done first of all we know the capacity of a bus single bus and each bus can carry 40 students so here the question was that how many students went to see the children park in 12 buses. So here we have to multiply then we will get the number of students that is 480 children. So completed this question we have done. Now after that we will do next one. We will do next one children. Now let's start doing, first you just write it down in your copy, then we will do next question, okay?
So children, let's start. Now children, we are going to do second question. That is question number 8. Okay children. Question number 8 is A truck carries A truck carries 185 bags of bags of wheat bags of wheat how many how many bags of wheat bags of wheat will be carried will be carried in 30 such truck such trucks the question is and we will write solution children first we will understand what is written in this word problem first of all children you can see a truck carries 185 bags of wheat okay how many bags of wheat will be carried in 30 such trucks now here children you can see in this question the capacity of the bus is already given one uh, sorry a truck capacity is already given so her, here you can see a truck carries 185 bags of wheat it means each bus carry can be carry or the capacity of carrying the wheat bags 185 in each trucks okay now the question is how many bags of wheat will be carried in 30 such trucks it means agar ek bus 185 wheat bags carry kar sakti hai to 30 such trucks kitne sare wheat bags carry kar sakti hai so children this is the question now we are going to write solution okay now first of all we will write a truck can carry or you can write a truck carries equal to 185 wheat bags okay now the next question we will the next line we will write total bags carried total bags will be carried total bags will be carried okay in 30 buses equal to here we have to multiply 185 multiply by 30 children okay so whatever the answer will come we will do okay okay here we will see 185 we are going to multiply with 185 multiply by 30 okay 
Now here children you can see and complete we will do the multiplication. So children here 0 5s are 0, 0 8s are 0 and 0 1s are 0. Now we are going to do this 3 to 5. So 3 5s are 15 children. So we will write over here. Now children here you can see 8 3s are 24, 24 plus 1 is 26, 2 will be carry over, 3 1s are 3 and 2 is 5. Now children, 0, 0 and 5 when we will add we will get 5. Now 0 and 6 when we, we will add we will, we will get 6 and here 5. Okay, 3 1s are 3 and 2 is 5. So here we will get 5,650 wheat bags. Okay, it means 30 texts will be carried 5,650 wheat bags. Okay, if this uh, one truck will be carry 180 ba bags of wheat in one truck so the total bags will be carried in 30 trucks equal to 185 multiply by 30 so here you can see 5650 wheat bags will be carried will be carried in 30 trucks answer you will write like this okay children so completed children we have completed this question number 8 of exercise number 4.6 now we are moving to the next page that is very interesting page and you can see in your book page number 73 and here multiplication by two digit number now here children we are going to learn algorithm. Algorithm, what is the algorithm and how can we place the numbers in a proper way? That we are going to learn today. So children let's start learning multiplication by two digit and what is algorithm. So children first you just complete it and after that we will learn what is algorithm? I'm going to erase this exercise number 4.6. We have completed. Now we are moving to the next page that is algorithm. Or you can say multiplication, multiplication. Multiplication by by a two digit a two digit number. Multiplication by a two digit number. Okay. Now here, what is algorithm? We will do this first. To arrange the numbers in a proper way. So here we will do with the process of algorithm. Now what is algorithm we will learn first. We use standard, standard, okay we use a standard, uh, standard algorithm. Algo rhythm standard algorithm. Okay, when we are doing two digit multiplication, we are using a standard algorithm. Okay, so what is algorithm? First, we will know. I am going to write what is algorithm a set 
of steps a sets of a set of steps you take to complete you take to complete a task suppose when we are making tea or any lemonade so what we are doing first first we have to take one glass and then we will add water in it and then some salt and sugar and after that lemon juice and then we just add at the end of the mixing these things we will add cold water and after that so many things as depend on your flavor and taste you can add mint leaves or anything inside similarly we will do when we are making tea first we will uh, put a pan on the gas stove then we will add few water few cups of water then we will adding milk then we will add there is a process of making anything and then after when it is prepared so we can drink similarly children algorithm is the same process when we are going to arrange the uh, numbers in a proper way and then we multiply the numbers according to the places and after that we will get the product so children that is called algorithm algorithm means a set of steps you take to complete a task this is the true meaning of algorithm koi bhi kaam karne ke liye jo steps hum lete hain to complete the task yani koi bhi kaam pura karne ke jo hum step प्रोसेस वाइज करते हैं फर्स्ट स्टेप सेकेंड स्टेप थर्ड स्टेप दैट इज कॉल्ड एल्गोरिदम ओके नाउ हाउ कैन वी अप्लाई दिस एल्गोरिदम स्टैंडर्ड एल्गोरिदम इन मल्टीप्लीकेशन सो आई गिव यू वन एग्जाम्पल फर्स्ट हाउ कैन वी अप्लाई इट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ यू विल डू थ्री टू मल्टीप्लाई बाई टू टू ओके so how can we do algorithm standard algorithm in this multiplication now first of all we will write first 32 and 22 and multiply we will write outer side because there is no place to write down over here now first we will start from this two because this is at the ones column so first we will start from the right side two twos are it means we will repeat two two times two ones are two and two twos are four now here we will write four children then two threes are it means two ones are two two twos are four and two threes are six children okay now this is at the tens column because this is 22 it means it is when we multiply by tens what we will put zero in the end so here because we are going to multiply by 20 it means 2 tens this is 2 tens so whenever we are multiplying by tens we will put zero over here as you all know as we have done in earlier uh, thing because we have to leave the place so here in standard algorithm we will put zero over here now 2 twos are 4 before that we will put 0 and then 2 2s are 4 
we will write over here and two threes are six children now after that what we will do we will add similarly as we have done in earlier multiplication also now here children you can see six four and six four zero how can we add four zero we will get four six and four we will get ten and one will be carry over so six plus one is seven now children the answer is seven hundred and four children so children algorithm is not a, a very tough type of the concept it is the set of steps you take to complete a task this is our task we have set it down properly because how can we do first we will start from one column we will multiply this one and then we are moving to this 10th column and again because this is 20 this is 2 tens so that is why we have to put zero over here because we are doing this so two twos are four and two threes are six now according to the multiplication rule we will add so zero and four equal to four now six and four equal to ten so ten we will get zero then one is carry over then six is left over here so six and one is seven so seven hundred and four is the product of this multiplication so this is called children a standard algorithm always remember it is nothing but we have to take a step before completing the task whatever the step we are going to follow that is called algorithm children so children let's start doing few examples of two digit multiplication first we will do 76 multiply 23 now children here you can see we will start from 3 6 R. why because we have to start with one's place 3 6 R. it means 18 so we will write over here 8 and 1 will be carry over 7 3's are or 3 7's are 21 21 plus 1 is 22 children okay now here you can see 2 6 are 2 6 are 12 but before going to write 12 we are going to put over here 2 but not 2 we have to add 1 also so here 13 we will getting and here we will write 1 already carry over now 2 7s are 14 plus 1 is 15 ok now children here you can see here what we have done 2 6 are 12 12 plus 1 is 13 again 1 will be carry over now children let's uh, add 8 0 we will get 8 2 and 3 we will get 5 5 and 2 is 7 and 1 because none is there so we will write 1758 Okay, children. So this is the answer. This is this multiplication is based on algorithm. Now we will do the next one also. One more example we will do that is 184 
multiply by 42 children. Okay. Now here children we will start from the ones place. 2 fours are 8. 2 eights are 16. So we will write one carry. Now 2 ones are 2 plus 1 is 3. Now children 4 fours are 4 fours are 4 ones are 4, 4 twos are 8, 4 threes are 12 and 4 fours are 16. 16 children, 4 fours are 16. Now here we will write 0. Why we will write 0? Because we are multiplying by 4. This is 4 tenths. That is why we will write 0 over here. Then 4 fours are 16. 16 and 1 will be carry over here. Now 4 eights are. 4 eights are 32 children. 4 eights are 32 and 1 is 33. So we will write 3 over here and 3 will be carry over. Now 4 ones are 4 plus 3 we will get 5, 6 and 7. Now we are going to add this 8, 0. We will get 0 over here. 6 and 6, 12. 1 will be carry over, 3, 3, 6 and 1, 7 and again 7 is there. It means 7,728 is the answer. So children, we can do use of algorithm simply we will do the multiplication. How can we set this? The it is uh, very uh, important that you can use your block maths copy because in that you can able to complete your tens and ones. You can able to write tens and ones in the appropriate column. So children, uh, we will be continuing the same topic in our next video also. So till then, bye bye and take care and practice it.